In this video, we'll show you how to seamlessly import and export listings using Directorist's powerful CSV tool. To find the CSV tool for the directory, start from the WP Admin dashboard. In the directory listings, go to Settings and then Tools. Choose Listings Import Export from there. You'll find options for Import Listing and Export Listing. This time, we'll focus on importing listings on Directorist, so click on Run Importer, which will open a new window. To upload a CSV file from your computer, click Upload CSV to open a new window. The maximum file size is 300 MB. You can also get a sample CSV file from the upper left corner, so download the file first and then upload it to the CSV tools. If you have more than 500 listings, it's best to split your CSV file into smaller parts to prevent memory overflow issues with your hosting service. Begin with around 500 records per file and make adjustments as necessary. To begin, upload the dummy file from your computer and click Continue. You can customize the column mapping section according to your preference. Once done, proceed to run the importer. This process might take a few seconds to load onto your website. After it's imported, you can see all the listings and have the option to edit, delete, or publish any individual listing. If your CSV file contains the same category and location names already on your site, the Directorist CSV will not create duplicate categories or locations. For example, if you already have a category called Food and your CSV file also contains the same category, the contents will be saved under Food, but no new category will be created. To export your listings, follow these steps. Go to the WP Admin Dashboard, then to Directory Listings, Settings, Tools, Listings Import, Export, and click on Export under the Export Listings section to download your CSV file. It will take less than one second to download to your PC. Once downloaded, you have successfully exported your listings. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more tutorials like this.